I'm Alicia T from Music Blog Yeah, and here with me are Steve and Mark from Codaline before the show at the Danforth Music Hall in Toronto. So how are you guys doing tonight? Good, good. good. That's good to hear. Alright, so we know you're right on like right now you're on tour with Airborne Toxic Event. So how's that going so far? It's great, it's the last night on our tour. We're doing with three weeks or something like that. And we're in Toronto and it's the last night, so it's been a great tour, we got to see a lot of America and yeah. We're so glad to have you guys here finally. So cool. It's really, really cool to be here. Yeah. And we have a release for In a Perfect World coming up shortly. As fans, we're super excited to hear it, but as the band behind the music, how pumped are you to get it out there? Um, we finished the album before Christmas, so we've been kind of waiting for it to, to put it out there and see what people think of it for quite a while. So. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully it comes out soon. It is coming out soon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and hopefully people like it. Which songs off the record are your favorites? I, I really like Love Like This at the moment. It's our singer, yeah. so we're kind of playing it a lot. And people's reactions are cool, so that's cool. It, it changes like every now and then. Favorite song. That's my kind of favorite song. I, like, I still like I Hope, I think mean, that's my favorite song, but um, on the album itself, there's a song called Talk, and then there's another song, um, yeah, Talk and Big Bad World, so I Can't wait to hear everything. You haven't heard them. No, I have not. And on the topic of releases, I'd just like to say that the High Hopes EP was incredible. I know the reaction to it has been great from your fans so far. Yeah, it's been um, crazy. And we especially enjoyed the LCD Sound System cover. So what were some of the best moments you had while recording it? Um, it's kind of a blur recording, because we recorded um, We kind of recorded the album as like a, a big thing of songs, then we just picked and chose the EP. We didn't actually record EP, EP so. But we, we had a great time recording the album. We recorded it in a few studios. Always kind of remote down the country, so it's kind of nice because you know when you're on tour, you're in cities and you're traveling, yeah. and you're in a studio, you're totally opposite. You're just in a house. And, well, I can't remember much about it. It's just like in a studio for a few weeks. And um, yeah, some songs were just thrown down really fast, and others were. It was all done quite like a few when we had time off the tour and yeah. to like two weeks in the studio here. I think the whole thing took about yeah. seven weeks. But, yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, that was going on. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and we know that there's been a stellar music scene happening in Ireland, especially over the past year. Stellar. 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 Serious stellar. Word. stellar. No, That's seriously, so though, there's been some great bands coming out yeah. of there now. So how does it feel to kind of be on the front end of that wave? Yeah. Uh, it's cool. Like yeah. you said, there's a stellar wave. Like, there's a band called <laughs> Little Green Cars that just came out and bought their album yesterday. It's great. There's villagers. And a new band called Stripes, they're all 15. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good year. Like it's, it's, We're going to be playing with all these bands at festivals, so I'm looking forward to seeing them. <laughs> Irish power. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, there's so many bands coming out this year, as Mark said. Um, there's a band called Peace from the UK, are really cool. Fine, they're awesome. Yeah, go down them. Yeah, just, just loads. So. It's good to hear from music. Definitely. And we saw the photo of you and your youngest fan the other day in Boston. I mean, that was when we saw that, it was just adorable. So, other than that, what's been you know, one of your favorite tour moments? Um, Arkansas. Arkansas. What happened in Arkansas? Um, what happened in Arkansas? Arkansas was a stop off that we made on this tour. We, we, like, it was halfway between Texas, Texas and. and St. Louis? Or North Carolina, I can't <laughs> We got a bunch of fun geography of America. But um, yeah, it was just a stop off we made in this place called Hot Springs. It's where, like, um, uh, Bill Clinton went up there, and Al Capone, the gangster, used to like own a bar there, and we ended up jamming the bar all night, you know, with the locals. But um, yeah, there was just there was this guy called Chicken Hawk, and he was like real southern, and he was like, yeah, I'm cheating. He's, he's had that name since he was like 10 because he threw an egg. There was almost there was like those people that advertise on the street and they dress up. Yeah. There was someone advertising. He hit a guy in a chicken costume with an egg really <laughs> far away, so they called him Hawk because of his aim and then chicken because of the chicken. But he was a lovely guy and uh, everybody in Hot Springs was the hospitality was amazing. It was, uh, it was just so because we're from Ireland, it was such a culture shock because it was really southern, you know. And uh, what was that stuff we ate? Uh, 
and had the gravy. It was like we had for breakfast. Oh, white gravy? Yeah. yeah. We didn't have a, we had biscuits. We call them scones. We call them biscuits. Oh, yeah. When I saw it, I was kind of like, I don't, don't want to eat that. But uh, yeah, tasty. Yeah. Tasty. Very good. Well, we've had loads of experiences on this. I mean, I'm trying to do this thing where we write a song about every city. And uh, we've gone around to like locals and like, asked them about facts about places and different cities. And, Everybody's been really nice, and uh, yeah, I mean, just probably write a book about this tour as well. Yeah. Yeah. And when we were speaking back in November, we spoke a bit about the band's videos. I mean, I think I can hands down say that Coda Line have the best music videos just in general, but what would be some of your favorites? Oh, um, Radiohead Just, yeah, yeah. Um, the Black Keys video, the <laughs> guy dance. Oh, um, Building Boy, I think. Yeah, yeah. that video. Because we, we were always saying in interviews, like, yeah, we wanted to have a story, you know, you can't just have someone dancing in the video, and then we're like, that's one of the best videos ever. <laughs> I, love, I, I love, like, Radiohead just because, you know, he's lying on the ground, and he's looking up, and you never find out what message is, or, or what the message is. But another amazing one that's pretty old is Dark Strikes Moon for Because oh. it was, like, the first technology, uh, technology and the technology is terrible. <laughs> like now looking back, but uh, it's, it's retro. retro. You could make that video on an iPhone a million times better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. but back then it was amazing. And before we were speaking about Irish bands that you've been into, but as far as outside of there, which bands or artists have you been listening to lately? Um, lately, we've been, we've all got, I'm a huge Bruce Springsteen fan, I worship the guy, but we've got so many different. Like lately, you know, Team and Pal. Yeah. Uh, and I got Pal yeah. again. Yeah, it's amazing. Weird. James Blake is really good. It's a, he's on his way there. He's a good player. Everyone um, talks about him. It's cool as well. Yeah. So, yeah, but then, like yeah. on this tour, we got a chance to listen to a lot of music because uh, there was a TV in the truck that didn't work. So <laughs> it's just like whenever we got oh, internet, we cool. download some albums, just play them on the road. Right. It's a cool way to listen to music. All we do is just listen to like, music constantly for hours, new albums and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's Team and Palette, probably the highlight for me. Yeah, Lotterism? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Such a psychedelic album. Yeah. Really into that it's one. It sounds like John Lennon. Pardon? It sounds like John Lennon. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. In a really good yeah. way, yeah. It's not like a copy and kind of way, just. Okay, now we have almost the opposite question. Which song could you live without hearing again? Ah, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I've never been asked that. That's a really good question. Thank you. Insulting anybody. Do you have one of mine? Me? Oh, happy birthday. That's what we've got a lot. Like, I have to agree. You gotta hear it like a few times a yeah. year. Yeah. Like, oh, anything in my nickel bag. Agree. Especially. Sorry, but coming from Canada, just. Oh, Nickelodeon. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Anything in my nickel bag. Um, I don't know. From me. I don't know how Steve feels, but. Probably, probably, uh, I'll probably look this up. Probably, um, a song. By Tom Petty called Runaway Train because it was it was a breakup song I had and every time I hear it it just takes me back to that moment so it probably would yeah. be better if I knew how to hear it again <laughs> but I do like listening to it. It's a great song. It's a great song, you know. But it just takes me back to that breakup and I don't like it. Yeah. Never made, so. <laughs> <laughs> and aside from the upcoming record, what has you excited for the rest of 2013? Uh, big summer festivals, big summer shows. Yeah. Where I'm excited to travel more. We're going to Japan, coming back here. I think we're going to Australia yeah. as well. And, um, straight after this, we're going tonight. We have a flight away. After this tour, we're going to that's the UK, then to France. Yeah. We're supporting the Sabian in London. That's right. And Bruce Springsteen. And Bruce the day after. So we're in, yeah, it's nice. we're in Glastonbury on Friday, then supporting the Sabian on Saturday, and supporting Bruce on Sunday. So that's it's all from moving in, so it's... I think, uh, as Dean and Barry said, I think we're coming back here in July, I think, fingers crossed. And then again in September, so... Yeah, we're, it's going to be busy, and we're just tour and tour and tour and more tour. And then our albums are going to be like, so... Yeah. 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 Y
Parker. And for our very last question, what's the best part about being in Kobe Live? Yeah, it's, it is. It's the reason we're doing it. I think like we grew up together, so it's like we were friends before we were friends before we even played music. So, and so yeah, I don't know. Traveling, traveling the world with your mates, just playing music. Are you okay? All right. Well, I do believe the last question rounds up our interview. Once again, I'm Alicia Tu from Music Blogger, and this was our interview with Kobe. Thank you so much for taking the time to see us.